when it ultimately the result is for an audience, a live audience, a live experience, that's where it's weird because we, we look a certain way at a camera when you're doing a scene. When you're on stage, you're taking in potentially 1,800 people. So it's a different feel. And so I think that's what's difficult for an actor. And I do factor that in. I really do factor in that they're looking at a, a lens or looking, you know, it's, it's hard. It's funny because there are some, you know, I do self-tapes and I do them terribly and don't get the part and blah, 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 blah. But there was the one film that came along and said, no, actually, he's, he's a British director. He doesn't want to self-tape. Just wants to meet you in a bar. Doesn't want an audition. Yes. Wants to talk to you. Yes. And so it was an older version of what I was used to. Let me get to know the individual. I know they can act. But it was, I didn't get the part, but it was, I need to sit with the body and who you are yeah. because we're going to end up together. Exactly. And that's vanished, at least but in the so TV important. world. I couldn't agree more. Here, for me, what I miss the most in the room is having the conversations that aren't about the work, that aren't about the material. It's having a conversation with an actor about who they are because it's actually really important to know if you're going to spend months and months together, which is what for theaters or even film, you're going to spend that kind of time together. But specifically for theater, it's very intimate for a very long period of time. You want to know if that's someone that you'd like to spend that kind of time with and collaborate with. And I think they should know if you are that person for them, you know, right. and that's where you find it. You find out in the room and you find out in an audition room and you have those conversations that aren't, necessarily about this part because you know if you've been directing a while you're going to know if somebody can act and you're, you're going to know if someone can dance you're going to know you know listen dance and singing is less subjective but you know we're going to we're going to know that so how now do you, that you how know, do you know that i dance is dance i mean you know this is a hard one to fudge that's a tough one like you know when you when you see somebody dance you know in in a in a room you'll see them I see it, yes, okay, technically, I get it, right? Now, tell me about you. Then you're gonna know, where, you know, where are they from? What's their background? Um, that's where you find out the background, say, for something like dance, it's just, you know, different, but that's where you find out, you know, how, how, how long have they trained? You know, what kind of dance are they interested in? You know, all of those things are important. I ask questions, and, you know, and, I, and I think we have to be careful of what we ask in a room because people come from different backgrounds right. and things can be very difficult for people. Often people choose this industry to, to get away from a, a life that's been incredibly challenging. And I, I think now the, the, the questions now seem to stem from how have you been? You know, that's the questions now in the room is but I think it's critical. I would much rather sit and just talk to an actor. You know, a lot of times now, there still are meetings. Not necessarily reading for something or auditioning. I know if someone can act. But just what? talking to them. 